Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for our lovely Aquarians, please? Angel Spirits Guides for March 2021, please. The overarching dominating energy, thank you. Okay. Oh, interesting. We have the Knight of Wands, Aquarius. Okay. Okay, angels, what is the message for our lovely Aquarians, please? Oh, wow. <laughs> I've got yes. I mean, this could be a confirmation by Angel Spirits Guides to you. Yes. You're going in the right direction, yes, you know, on that opportunity, yes, in terms of anything that you've been asking for. Um, sometimes when I do these readings, you might be saying yes, or you're being told to say yes to something. Interesting that I'm getting that quite strongly, Aquarius. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards, roughly works out as one card per month, so one card per week even. Um... But then again, the message, messages can overlap, divine timing and all that. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So, okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles there, Aquarius. Page of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, very nice energy. Okay. So message for Aquarius, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Aquarians. Can we clarify the cards on the table? March 2021 for Aquarius, please. Angel Spirits Guides, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Nice energy with the Five of Pentacles, the Hierophant. We have the Page of Cups with the Fool. Queen of Pentacles is clarified with the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. There you are, Aquarius, your card, the Star card, card of Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords. Okay, so you're being told yes. And like I said, I've kind of gone into detail with that card, really positive energy. The Knight of Wands offers opportunities that bring change. This is something exciting, something that's very much linked with your passions, desires. You know, I mean, the Knight of Wands is, Knights generally bring change and um, help you find direction, but there's a green light with this card. There's some kind of green light. Um, all systems go, you know? And again, like I said, the Knights can bring in opportunity. And, you know, they hold the wand, the Knight of Wands, um, which is all about growth. It's connected to your passions, your power, potential. Um, very good in terms of success. Something that's very much connected to your heart and soul. Um, so really, really beautiful energy. Sometimes when the Knight appears, the Knight of Wands in particular, it can sometimes be, oh, thank goodness this is happening and I'm just going to leave what's gone behind me. You know, it's that kind of energy. So you might be experiencing that in March 2021. Either way, in darkest times, you're definitely being told to have faith. And this can be where you might be struggling financially. I'm definitely getting a financial commercial element to this. Five of Pentacles can be to do with, I mean, it can be to do with self-worth, self-esteem, but it can be a card of fear, struggling in terms of money, finances, career, jobs. Um, 
can sometimes be linked with changes in your financial circumstances and feeling a pinch. And there can be an element sometimes with the five of pentacles of of begrudging other people. They're fine and I'm not. You know, it's that kind of energy. And the Hierophant is, is a card of refocusing on, on who you are, on your core essence and telling you to have faith. Yeah. Because for some of you, it feels that there is some kind of unexpected opportunity coming into you, which is definitely lightening the load and definitely opening a powerful new door. I mean, the Fool is a major new door, a new beginning, a new phase, you know, a new chapter, turning the page, call it what you will. The Page of Cups is something very much, it can be a little bit unexpected. It, it's something that's very much connected to your heart, something that you really want. It can be to do with creative opportunities. I mean, this can also be to do with love, romance, relationships as well. Aquarius in March 2021. Um, yeah, but for some of you, I mean, you know, it feels in the pages represent the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. And there is some joyful opportunity coming in your way, whichever resonates for you. And it feels that will open some kind of new door, some kind of positive, upbeat, uplifting message. And if there is some kind of opportunity or door opening for you, both of these are doors opening, it feels you're being told you need to say yes. Yeah. Now, there could be somebody who is of influence this month in helping you turn your life around, certainly in terms of money, career, finances. You know, after feeling lack, after feeling like you didn't have enough, um, there's definitely this energy of things are balancing out for you what you've been putting into something, the work that you've been putting in, the effort that you've been putting in to change your circumstances around. There's definitely an energy if you're going to get what you need, you know, be open to receive. It's your time to receive. And again, this Queen of Pentacles, she can be, she's very good in terms of money, career, business. She can be somebody who offers you something or somebody who is of influence in your life in terms of money and career. She's very, very successful. She is very, very savvy in terms of business, career, and um, commercial aspects. She is somebody who understands how to focus, use her, harness her practical skills, knowledge, abilities to really create abundance that she wants in her life. But she is all about the focus. Look how she focuses on that pentacle. There is, if this is to do with just an, an energy of the Queen of Pentacles, it is focus. You have all the practical resources that you need to really turn something around. What you put into something now is what you'll get back. There's definitely this energy of growth with the Queen of Pentacles, um, f uh, providing financially for yourself, for your loved ones, um, working parent and so on and so forth. So for some of you, that might resonate, Aquarius. And here we have... I'm going to go here, actually, because this is an Aquarian energy, the Seven of Swords. And it is because it's a strategic energy. It is somebody who is keeping their cards close to their chest and putting some kind of strategy or plan into action that they're hoping that they're going to pull off. Um, and, it, you know, and that, that could either be in terms of you know, the, the, on the downside, this can be about thieves, uh, deception, um, all not being what it seems, stealing, you know, that kind of energy. Um, but, you know, it can also be a card of you're just keeping things close to your chest because you don't want to get other people's hopes up or it might well be you don't want to let anybody else know politically you know that you might be going for other jobs or you might be looking for other avenues to to get more money in your life you know that kind of energy for example if you're at a current business you might not want you know your employer to know that you're looking elsewhere to get more money you know it's that kind of energy 
or if you're going for a promotion you're not letting other people know because you know it's all about you know keeping things close to your chest it can be that kind of energy so Aquarius this is uh, remember the star card is optimism things are about to look up um, definitely an energy of you are absolutely on the right path that you've chosen for yourself. You are absolutely moving in the right direction by trusting your intuition this month. Um, and you're receiving blessings from the universe. The star is blessings, divine wish fulfillment, uh, new growth, new optimism. So it's a lovely, lovely energy, but it is an Aquarian energy of you standing in your truth you back in your element once more so absolutely beautiful and you're back in your element financially career wise money wise abundant wise uh, materially success material success wise um, the nine of pentacles is somebody who has worked hard to earn every single one of those pentacles but they stand in their own abundance and empowerment feeling pretty good about it so there is definitely a sense of personal achievement i feel towards the end of the month here something that you might be just keeping close to your chest until you can you know, let everybody know what's going on. And it, I definitely feel with that Knight of Wands energy, some kind of opportunity bringing change, offer, opportunity coming to you. But, you know, it is also a card of, oh, I can just leave that period of feeling lack behind me. You know, it's that kind of energy. So really positive energy there, Aquarius. I'm going to pull a final, yeah, you see, the Star card is a card of hope. It's a card of dare to dream as well. So we have hope. I hope hope is always there, even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. Very beautiful energy, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.